let's hop into the first one for today. Coming from WCCF Tech, NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3050 rumored to have better supply than the RTX 3060 Ti and the RTX 3060. Here it is right here. Reports from Chinese board channel suggest that NVIDIA's upcoming GeForce RTX 3050 graphics card will have better supply than the RTX 3060 Ti and RTX 3060. The NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3050 graphics card is the first Ampere design that has that's been announced with a sub $300 US MSRP. Though we know that MSRP these days is a non-valid pricing figure, it's still a figure that we can take into perspective to know which market these new products are positioned at. The RTX 3050 is a budget tier card and is planned for launch on January 27th. I just want to make it clear real quick. Like, even if we're only looking at MSRP, prices have gone way up. A budget GPU at 300 US dollars is is laughable, but that's not actually Nvidia's fault. That's our government's fault. And gas is going up. So, there you go. All right. Let's go ahead and continue. As per reports from board channels via video cards, it is reported that Nvidia partners will have a huge supply of the GeForce RTX 3050 graphics card. Even bigger than both the RTX 3060 Ti and RTX 3060 combined. So that's awesome. We should get a whole bunch of them. It is not stated if the launch supply or the immediate after launch supply that will get the surplus of GPUs. But it's likely that since the card launches right in the midst of the Chinese New Year, most orders won't be fulfilled at least two weeks until at least two weeks after launch. So the surplus of stock could be a way to compensate for the Chinese New Year 2022 delay, offering a huge initial stock at launch and resuming that after the Chinese New Year. We will see how this pans out, but so far, none of the promises or rumors about availability and pricing uh, being any better have worked in the favor of GPU manufacturers. Just like the RTX 3060, the RTX 3050 will be featuring the G106 GPU, but a cut down configuration. The card will feature 20 SM units and 2560 CUDA cores with a TGP of 130 watts. The entry level graphics card will also rock 8 gigabytes of GDDR6 memory at 14 gigabits per second and will be running across a 128 bit bus interface for a total of 224 gigabytes of bandwidth per second. The graphics card will be priced at $249 US and will launch in several custom flavors on the 27th of January. Good notes, of course, for miners here is that as far as memory performance, it's pretty good for a budget card. We are talking about 224 gigabytes of bandwidth on a 128 bit bus compared to the AMD variant at like, what is it? A 64 bit bus? No bueno over there on the AMD side for mining outside of course of a couple new options that are popping up here and there. Most algorithms for mining do still favor memory. That being said, of course, the outliers are going to be things like Flux, which actually still does favor memory to a certain extent. You do get boosts out of memory overclock as well as core overclock. And then, of course, you have Ton, which we are going to be talking about more and more uh, this coming week. We have a how-to guide for Ton coming out. And we are going to be talking about it a little bit today as well. I hope you enjoyed this clip from the Crypto Mining Morning Show every Monday through Friday, 7.45 a.m. Pacific and 10.45 a.m. Eastern Time. You can check out more clips here, or if you're interested in checking out the entire live show, you can check that out down here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next Tuesday.